deep in the mountain, something gigantic wakes up after a thousand years in captivity. The creature destroys everything in its path and quickly approaches the capital. This movie is really mediocre. The story is thin and borrows a lot from other monster movies like Godzilla, King Kong, and even Jurassic Park franchise. This movie really lacks originality as it basically sticks to the tried and true formula that we have seen many times before in Hollywood monster futures. Its over-reliance on its influences makes the movie feels like a collection of knots with no identity of its own. It's hugely predictable and full of cliché-ridden moments. This movie has an overly familiar storytelling beats complete with all the obligatory checklists. Borrowed plot beats and dialogue stand out all the more with one-note characters. You have a protagonist who's an expert in something, a comic relief sidekick, an eccentric who knows it all, and of course there's also the usual subplot about an estranged relationship. There's not much to these characters apart from their cliché functions, while the emotional beats feel really ridiculous. The visual effects are solid, but you can say that about many B-movie creature features these days. This movie also shows too much restraint and control. It's too conservative with the amount of death and destruction the troll brings. This movie could have been so much more violent wilder and bigger. Overall, it's not really worth your time to watch this. We would recommend you to watch 2010 Troll Hunter instead. We do not recommend this movie at all.